What's up YouTube, it's ICU. And today I have a very, very important iOS 13 jailbreak tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how to update on cover to version 4.3.1 or really any version, depending on when you're watching this video. Specifically though, 4.3.x is literally the biggest update to come to uncover since it was updated to include up to iOS 13.3 jailbreak support for not only the latest devices, but also the older ones as well. You guys seriously need to update uncover right now and re-jailbreak using it, it's really that much better and that much of an improvement. Switching on over to Safari here, talking about Pwn to owns Twitter account. For those of you who don't know, he is the developer and creator of the Uncovered Jailbreak. He said, quote, 4.3.0 is now out, the biggest stability and feature update to Uncover yet. Now, since then, 4.3.1 has also been released, but it contains no changes other than the fact that initially they did release a pre-release version of the jailbreak under 4.3.0, and this kind of just clarifies that. This is the fixed release candidate. So basically, you guys need to get on 4.3.x, whatever it happens to be when you are watching this video. Seriously, he's been tweeting about this for the last week or so, touting all of its huge stability improvements. So if you're still encountering any sort of issues, whether whether they be related to the Apple Watch, to notifications, um, the App Store, really any sort of system services on your iOS 13 device, then update, uncover. It will fix all of that, and not only will it do that, but it will also vastly improve not only jailbreak times, but also resprings as well, and overall, your jailbreak will just be that much more rock solid. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Uh, first, I wanted to mention that this tutorial does heavily lean on some of my previously released guides. So I'm going to operate under the assumption that you guys know what I'm talking about if you don't rely on the description. It is your best friend for this video because it contains everything you need to know. Now we're going to talk about how to update if you already are jailbroken, and then we're going to get into updating if you aren't jailbroken, or rather just jailbreaking using the latest release, because why not? So timestamps for everything down below in the description. Now quickly, before we actually get into all of these steps of how to get uncover and all of the different methods, I wanna show you guys what to do once you do have uncover. That's why I wanted to put this at the beginning. I decided in post, it would actually be better to have this section ahead of how to get the newest version of Uncover because this is universal. This applies no matter how you get the application on your device. So if you're already in your jailbroken state, what I want you to do to apply all of the changes inside of the new version is to just reboot your device. Once it powers off, then you can reboot and you're going to re-jailbreak. All right, so here we are on the lock screen. Let's go ahead and swipe up to unlock, enter our passcode, and now we're going to open up Uncover and tap on jailbreak. And now it's just applying the changes in this new jailbreak. And you can see it actually was able to jailbreak in just five seconds. So it exploited the kernel and applied all of the patches in literally less than 30 seconds. That's amazing. So go ahead and tap on OK. And I've heard resprings are also super fast here. One thing I did want to mention is that if you did obtain this version of Uncover from the on-device method using the revoked certificate procedure, then you are going to have to just go through and clear out your history inside of Safari settings and then enter airplane mode. I'll describe all of that in just a little bit. One thing to note though, um, also of course just really do re-sign it with reprovision with the steps I'm about to show you guys. But at any rate, here you go. You can see that we are in our jailbroken state. We do have cylinder effects here. Cydia opens without crashing. Let's just go back into it. You can see everything is fine. Everything's reapplied. Everything is rock solid now. Let's get into this. Let's first of all update Uncover, assuming we already are jailbroken, utilizing reprovision. Now, if you encounter any sort of issues with reprovision, I highly recommend just searching for it after you have already installed it and either updating it to the latest end of life version or downgrading it if you have issues with end of life. So whichever one doesn't work for you, try the other version out. Your mileage may vary. The 0 0.5.2 
end of life version works great for me. And then before you actually go through the next step to actually get this on your device, I highly recommend actually going in here, going to the middle tab and revoking all certificates. That way you will know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you can install it and you won't get any sort of errors. And just to show you guys that we are getting this fully on device with out a computer at all, we're going to delete it. You don't need anything for this other than just your jailbreak and reprovision. And then we're just going to hop on over to the official Uncover website. So we're getting this from the source itself. And then you're tapping on download followed by download again. Remember, I'm going through these steps very, very quickly because I already did release a two part series on reprovision. Check the description if you have yet to. And after it is downloaded, we're tapping on the download manager, tapping on it again, and then opening it inside of reprovision, tapping on install, and it is moving along through the installation process swiftly. After it's done here, you will receive a success notification up at the top. And if you don't get this notification, if you have any sort of error prior to 100%, it's either because you didn't revoke your certificates and you need to do that, or because for whatever reason, the version of reprovision that you're on doesn't work with your device and or your Apple ID. So go to the other one, as I mentioned. So let's go ahead and swipe out of here now because we do have to trust the certificate if you have yet to, to be able to open the new version of Uncover that we just signed. Now, once you have trusted it, you can swipe on over, open it up, and you'll notice that you are now on 4.3.1. And I also really do recommend doing that exact same procedure again after you jailbreak, if you jailbreak for the first time, just re-signing it, utilizing reprovision. And to do that after you have it, just swipe on over and sign it like I mentioned. So just basically tap on it and then tap on sign. I'll go over that again toward the end of this video. But now if you have yet to jailbreak, there are two different flavors. You can do the on computer method and get the latest version straight from the start, or you can actually do the on device method, even if the certificates are revoked. Now, obviously it's so much easier to actually just go to one of the on device signing services, tap on download and then tap on the install prompt and you're good to go. Just trust the certificate and open it up and bada bing, bada boom. But that is not the case right now because as is usually the case, the developer enterprise certificates that it signed with are revoked and that happens more often than not. So I'm going to show you exactly how to install it if it is revoked, I'm relying on my tutorial that I released last Friday, linked down below in the description. So we're just going to breeze through this just like we did with the first step as well, how to actually update to uncover from the source on device. So let's go ahead and tap on download. And first of all, I'm going to delete it. So that way you guys know I'm getting it straight from this site. So we're going to tap on download and then tap on install to the pop-up, immediately exit to your home screen and pause the installation. And then you need to go inside of settings and you have to scroll down to Safari and then clear your history and website data. And you're going to go over and you're going to resume it. Currently you can see it says paused beneath the icon. What you need to do is when it goes from loading to installing immediately enter airplane mode. Now, if it fails for you and says that it cannot install, it's because you just did not time it properly. It may take a few tries. And if that's the case for you and you have to retry downloading it, then you just need to delete it and you have to do all of the steps again. So let's go ahead and tap on it to resume. And we're going to enter airplane mode right now and because we did it properly, you can see that it did install successfully. Again, we're not going to be able to open it just yet because we have to trust the certificate, but because it is revoked, there's another little quick workaround that we have to do as well. So now I want you guys to go to settings, back out of Safari, go inside of general, and then go to device management, tap on the enterprise app, tap on trust, tap on trust again, and uh, it says it's not verified. Again, that's because the certificate's revoked. Don't freak out. You still won't be able to open it until you do this last step. So now scroll down to Safari and then clear your history and website data again, then enter airplane mode, and then you should be able to open it. And that will be the case anytime you actually reboot. You'll have to do that little last step again where you just clear your history and then enter airplane mode and you can open it. That is why I recommend when you're at this stage to basically just swipe on over, 
open up reprovision, download it if you have yet to, and then just tap on it and then tap on sign and then trust it again inside of settings and you'll be good to go. You will have it signed 100% all of the time. If you reboot, it will never be revoked. You won't have to deal with that little workaround again. And of course you can also then after you are jailbroken, get it from the official source as well using the method that I highlighted previously. So that's how to get it on device and how to get it on computer, link down below in the description. Also, I showed you guys how to update. So I really hope you guys liked this video and enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. If it helped you out, let me know down below in the comment section. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.